Hello Mellow family. Today we want to talk about the heart and soul of Mellow. But not in a flesh and blood type of way, but in an electronics type of way. Electronics are deceiving. You see an electronics board like this and you actually don't know anything about it or what it does. It can be cheap as crap or it can be high tech. They almost look the same to the normal customer. They do look the same actually. So all of you know the beauty of the Mellow Drive. But what is beauty without a brain? So what does the electronics board do inside the Mellow Drive? There are three main functions. The first function is the creation of the electromagnetic field inside the motors. In each motor, it's created separately. Second functionality is communication. So the Mellow Drive communicates a lot. It talks to the battery, it talks to the remote controller, it talks to the Mellow app. And if you wish to write a four-wheel setup, it even talks to another Mellow Drive. And the third point is safety functions. Safety is a really, really big topic and really important topic to us. And therefore, there's heaps of safety functions and they're all running on the heart of the mellow. Another fun fact about this is this doesn't only have two sides, it actually has six. Now imagine this being a parking garage with six different stories. So you see only the top and the bottom floor, but in between of this, there's another four additional layers where there's only wire routing. So there's a lot more going on with this than you actually see from the outside. So let's get nerdy. How does the motor controller board create an electromagnetic field? So the trick is this Texas Instruments microcontroller. It is um, a Piccolo series high-end microcontroller that does a field-oriented control. Um, in comparison to a lot of um, cheaper products that uh, use components that are usually used in um, RC toys and RC planes, something like that, they do a block commutation. This here does a sinusoidal commutation. The difference between a block commutation and a sinusoidal commutation is that basically, if you, um, if you have a coil like this, then a block commutation looks like a block. So basically, the current is just bluntly turned on, bang, and then shut off again. And it goes bang, 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 bang. So this is why a lot of the products um, that actually have in-wheel motors still have a squealing noise. It's because the coils are switched on just very harshly and that creates a vibration in the coil. It starts, the coils start to sing is what we say. Um, the sinus, sinusoidal commutation of this does something different. It, uh, it raises the current like a sine wave and drops it down. And by this, the whole process is a lot more harmonic than if you just bluntly turn it on. In addition, it gives you more uh, torque and a higher efficiency because not only one coil, basically if you have a magnet here, the magnet would be, you switch this coil on and the magnet moves over here. Then you switch this magnet and this coil on and the magnet uh, keeps moving. If you have a sinusoidal commutation, then you don't just bluntly turn them on, but this coil would still be pushing while the next coil is already pulling. So there's always two or three coils engaging in moving one magnet and thereby you get a lot more torque out of the current that is actually flowing and therefore higher efficiency and a lot of noise reduction too. Last important fact about uh, this whole commutation and uh, free field creation process is that these motors are sensorless. So the electronic board actually doesn't know the, uh, the precise pos position of the rotor and figuring out this position is crucial because you know, have to know what coil to turn on in order to move the magnet, right? To turn the wheel. And um, the Texas Instruments Piccolo microcontroller comes with a patented, um, uh, a patented uh, algorithm that very precisely can predict the um, position of the rotor. Thereby, we can um, get rid of the sensors inside the wheel and therefore we can get rid of one um, cause of problems, basically. Every sensor can break. Normal motor would have three sensors inside. That's three chances of something failing. This is a very robust system. That's why we went for it. Next topic is communications. 
How does and why does the Mellow Drive communicate? So this motor control board has a Bluetooth low energy connection. Low energy, obviously you don't want uh, your, uh, your RC connection to burn a lot of energy, therefore it's Bluetooth LE. Next thing that's very important is this and uh, this uh, connection between the Mellow Drive and the remote controller as well as the Mellow Drive and the Mellow app is entirely encrypted and therefore hacking proof. Nobody can hook up into this connection and cause your Mellow board to accelerate or to break whenever you don't want that. In addition to the normal communication between the remote controller and uh, the Mellow app and the drive, there's also uh, the possibility of data logging. So the Mellow Drive can send its data onto the app, which then can send it, if you wish so, into our backend server. And that enables us to have great service for you. We um, integrated our entire um, error logging. That means if you have a problem with your Mellow Drive, you can call our support and our support can actually receive a data package from your Mellow Drive as you switch it on and can then tell you what's wrong with your Mellow Drive. And last but not least about communication, this uh, motor control board can be updated via your smartphone app. So that means when we come out with a new software uh, providing higher speeds, higher current, bug fixes, you can simply download them with your app and uh, get them onto the Mellow Drive and you never will have to hit a shop again to get your Mellow board serviced due to software issues. There is voltage monitoring, there is current monitoring, temperature monitoring, all types of monitorings that provide an intrinsic safety functionality. So that means the Mellow Drive will always protect itself in order to keep a long life. That means if your battery is running low, it's not going to run so low that the battery actually gets damaged, which can happen if you deep discharge a battery, but it will stop discharging at a certain point. Also, if the temperatures get too high, then the mellow drive will shut itself down in order not to burn a motor or the electronics board. To sum that up, uh, this system is designed to protect itself even in the case of misuse. Don't misuse it, but be sure that this is a safe product and you can rely on it. Last up, what's to be said about the quality of this electronics board and where does it come from? So our motor controller is produced by TQ Systems. That is an electronics producer that also produces stuff for Airbus. They have some of their robots in outer space and uh, they're really, really great company we love to work with. Um, fun fact, any company that produces electronics or hardware will have a certain quota of things that fail and products coming back at them. The quota of TQ system is 0.2%. So this is really high end stuff and we're really looking forward to producing a lot of them for you. So thanks again for watching. I hope I could give you a little insight into the heart of Mellow. And if there's any more nerdy details you want to know about, you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'm the Endless Engineer or our other account about the development and all that is the Endless Nerdistan. See you soon, keep riding and stay mellow.